Yes, we would call Nicole Anderson. Raise your right hand, please. Do you swear to affirm that you will tell the whole truth, nothing but the truth? So I hope you got it. I do. Okay, have a seat. Okay. Speak directly into the microphone. Spell your first and last name, please. Okay, first name, Nicole, N-I-K-O-L-E, Anderson, A-N-D-E-R-S-O-N. Good morning, I think. Yes, good morning. Good morning. Um, I need you to speak really loud here today, okay? Okay. All right. Ms. Anderson, where are you employed? I am employed with the Michigan State Police. And what do you do with the Michigan State Police? I am a criminal intelligence analyst and I work out of the Michigan Intelligence Operations Center. Okay, what is a criminal intelligence analysis? Um, <laughs> no, that's okay. A criminal intelligence analyst works alongside law enforcement officers, particularly investigators, and we assist them on case support anywhere from providing attempt to locate cellular analysis, we're given data and we interpret that information for investigators and prepare it for court, for instance, for court, or just for providing investigative leads. Okay, and how long have you been doing this? I've been a criminal intelligence analyst for over eight years now. Okay, and what types of programs do you use to accomplish what you've just described? So we have an assortment of different uh, tools and databases that we have access to. We have law enforcement databases, we have commercialized databases, we have an analytical tools that allow us to produce products such as timelines, charts, um, cell phone analysis, mapping, um, etc. along those lines. Okay, and um, can you tell me if, is there a this is going to sound like a stupid question. Okay. Is there a fixed number of programs that are available to you? It really depends. I mean, I have access, and each analyst is different depending on their um, different genre that they're working in. For instance, we have narcotics analysts, so they'll have more narcotic related databases. Uh, for me, I have anywhere from law enforcement databases that will look into reports across the state for Michigan. I have fusion center abilities, which allows me to communicate with different fusion centers across the nation to get into their databases, law enforcement databases. I also have commercialized products, or excuse me, commercialized tools that allow me to look at um, information that companies buy to um, provide more intelligence related uh, information. Okay, do you work with other agencies to accomplish yes. this? I do, yep, okay. as I mentioned, I work with other fusion centers which have other state agencies what involved. is fusion what does that mean what is fusion centers? so fusion centers are every state has at least one and it encompasses state local and federal partners law enforcement partners and we work to collaboratively to produce intelligence products and share information okay and is this something so you say state local and federal is this something that when you say state, is, does every state have to be involved in it? Do, do they pick and choose? How does that work? So it's a, there's a lot of legalities with it, but each state was mandated by Homeland Security to have a fusion center um, where it houses law enforcement partners, specifically federal partners that are like included the FBI, Homeland Security, uh, DEA, but then there's also state police that are also included in that where we'll have state police partners that sit in the fusion center like myself, and then we have local partners such as uh, Lansing Police or breaking it down to deputy level um, that all kind of work collaboratively. Okay, at some point in time were you <clears throat> asked to become involved in the case of D. Warner? I was. Okay, what were you asked to do? I was tasked with providing a database check that would look into any kind of pattern of life activity using the resources and databases that I have access to. And when was the first time that you were contacted? May of 2021. And between May of 2021 and today, 
how many times have you done the particular thing that you've described? Yes, um, I have done these database checks at least once a year to the current date today. Okay, <clears throat> and do you recall when the last time you created a report was? Yes, I completed this database check in April of 2024, so just recently. Okay, Your Honor, may I approach the witness? I've handed you people's proposed Exhibit 18. Do you recognize that document? Yes, I do. Okay, and what is that? This is the document that I was referring to in which I completed multiple database checks. Okay, let's um, talk about each database check that you did, okay? Sure. What's the first, I, I don't mean first in time, I just mean I wanna go kind of in a, in a chronological order on what you have listed. So what's the first check that you do? So you mean going down this list, explaining Please. each database? Please. Okay. So the first that I'm looking at that I completed on this database list is called Clemis. Um, I'll generalize what it says instead of reading it verbatim. Please. Okay. So Clemis is a law enforcement database that is particular to Oakland County's um, law enforcement management information system, and that's going to pull reports or citations, including traffic citations within Oakland County. Okay. Would you like me to continue? Yeah. Uh, when you say within Oakland County, is that so only things that occurred within Oakland County will come up on Clemis? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. With Clemis. Okay. And what was the result of that? Um, no information was located. Okay. Anything else with Clemis? Um, nope. I just, I did the, the checks for D Warner, including her name, date of birth, and Social Security. Okay. And then next on that, would you like me to continue? Yes, please. Is our EASIS, which is Michigan State Police Law Enforcement Database, in which we house our reports and any kind of interaction that we come across that a person would be cited in a report. Okay, can and you explain that a little bit better? Too? Yeah, it's just the reporting um, document system that we have. Okay. That's where reports are hold, held. Okay, and so anytime, what, what were you looking for when you were searching that? To see if D. Warner had any police or MS, Michigan State Police interaction, um, if she was a witness or a victim or et cetera, she would be noted in our report system. Okay, and what were your results of that? That was also no information was located. Okay, what's the next thing you checked? EPIC, which is a essentially another fusion center tool. It's a federal tool that we can access as fusion center to inquire if a individual has crossed the border or has left the country. Um, that was just me inquiring with them, so I did not do the search. I inquired it to the Fusion Center, uh, Epic Fusion Center, and that also came back negative. Okay, when and you say- I'm going to object that if she didn't do the search on Epic, then it would not be within okay. her personal knowledge. She's allowed to indicate whether she received a result, a result back or not. Then it would be based on hearsay. Okay, so you received no result on I that. received no result from oh. EPIC. Okay, so you, um, what information do you provide for that one to get a response back? Yes, for, per their requests on their end, they ask for the name, date of birth, and social security number. Okay, do you provide any photographs or anything like that? Negative. Okay, not for EPIC? Not for EPIC. Okay, what's the next thing you do? Uh, facial recognition, and there's two categories. Um, that I have on this chart here. Um, the first is our um, facial recognition system for the state police. I submitted the inquiry to them to do a facial recognition, rec recognition search, excuse me, and I provided two photographs, her latest, D. Warner's latest uh, driver's license photo and her recent social media photo. When you say social media photo, what do you recall where that came it, from? Yes, it was her Facebook account. Okay. That and, was provided to me. And it, was it the driver's license in Michigan Correct. state issued? Okay. Yep. All right. And when you say you sent that to Michigan State Police, did that go to anybody else? It went to, um, her name is Jennifer Coastlin. She is our partner over in SNAP who runs these facial recognition programs okay. and ran the photograph for D. Warner. Okay. And so 
for these facial recognition um, programs, where does that reach? Does that question make sense? Like, is it only in the state of Michigan, only in Lenox County? So for this first part, I had her just run it through the state of Michigan. Um, she then provided it or ran it through their nationwide system. She provided a little synopsis for me um, to give me exact number of uh, images that are co comprised of for this. Um, but essentially, it's ran through the FBI. They have a database that runs these photos for the states that opt into that. Okay. The second part that I ran of facial recognition search through was the states that do not run or work with this program with the FBI. And I had to go individual with each state to have them run it through their state facial recognition system. Okay, can you describe exactly what that facial recognition program is? I can't speak to the technology of that. Okay. Um, I did work personally with Jennifer in our section. She asked that I send her D. Warner's information, so again, her date of birth, um, the case number, um, her social security, but then also two, the two photographs. And she's the one that takes those photographs and runs it in their facial recognition system. Okay. And did you receive any results? Every year that I've ran it, up until now, the results have been negative. Okay. I'm still waiting for other states to communicate back with me for this year. Okay. Um, but since that I, the first year, 2021, that I've ran these facial recognition requests, I have been getting negative results. Okay, so you redid this, you said on, on what date? Um, I think you gave me the date here. April. April, yep, 24th was, I submitted all the requests to bid, or excuse me, to facial recognition. Okay, and so when you say every year but this year, you've got no results, is that just based on the fact that you haven't received results yet? Correct, do you yes. Have, okay, I just, yep. okay, and what's the next thing that you do? So uh, next I ran some checks through Lean, um, which is the Law Enforcement Information Network System. It's a statewide computerized information system and it provides and maintains a computerized filing system of accurate and timely documented criminal justice information readily available to all criminal justice agencies. So I, I ran D. Warner again, her identity through Lean and received negative results. Okay, to, to pop up on Lean, so if, if I'm searching for D. Warner and yes. I find her on Lean, tell me how I'm gonna find her on Lean. Well, there's many different reasons she could be in Lean. If there's a warrant active, if she had a traffic violation, if she was arrested, um, her Secretary of State information could also be housed in that. Um, there's quite an assortment of different uh, information that could be found there. Um, essentially, that's what I was looking for, though. Okay. And what were the results on that? Negative. Okay. Next thing. Uh, Michigan Department of Health and Human Services, EBT, that's bridge card. So essentially, I was looking to see if uh, D. Warner had filed for any state assistance through bridge card. And that was negative. Okay. And then next was uh, Michigan Department of Driver's License and Vehicle Registration. We have another system in which we can check to see if she's applied for a recent driver's license or if she had registered for any vehicles. And that was negative. Okay. So when you say the Michigan Department of State, do you get notification if there's an out-of-state driver's license that was applied for? Um, not in this case. Okay. This was just Michigan-based. Okay. And I apologize. Did you tell me what the results were of that one? They were negative. Okay. And the next thing? Uh, Michigan Unemployment Agency benefits. This was me submitting a request to see if she, her social security number had flagged any um, unemployment or uh, employment uh, salary. And that came back as negative. All right, next thing. Index. Um, this is a, another database. It's a federal database. Um, it provides criminal justice agencies with an online tool for sharing, searching, linking, and analyzing information across jur jurisdictional boundaries, a national uh, repository of criminal justice records submitted by agencies from around the nation. Index enables users to connect the dots between data on people, places, and things that may seem unrelated in order to link investigations and investigators. Can you explain that? Yes, <laughs> I wanted to read it out loud okay. that way so I could break it down a little. But it's another, um, I'll call it a fusion center um, database that I have access to. And it's fusion center because it's a federal database. So I think it's ran, or I'm certain it's ran by the FBI. Um, but it's essentially agencies throughout the nation that opt into this mm -hmm. database and allows you to see if um, a subject has been arrested, 
it would show booking information it would show if there was a traffic crash um, again the, these are for agencies that opt into this um, so I can't be certain how many agencies have been but it is nationwide so it was a good agent or a good database to check in this circumstance okay. and it was negative next thing oh yes <clears throat> Um, VSNA online these are public record searches that allow title companies realtors and other interested parties to view municipal information from a variety of VSNA software applications used by that municipality I searched uh, D Warner in Lenawee County to see if there had been any changes in any taxes or property that she had bought or sold and from the time that I started these searches in 2021 till today or until April 4th or 24th, 2024, it was negative. Okay. Next. Next tip. Um, clear, um, clear and TLO, which is listed on the bottom of this list, they're very similar. They're those commercialized databases that companies buy, pro, or um, companies will buy per, people's personal information pertaining to um, credit card information, uh, mortgages, cars registered, um, and they're pulling from different uh, com different platforms and different um, systems, if you will, okay. to get that information. Okay. And for both TLO and Clear, they were negative. Okay. So under Clear, one of the results has a linked address. Yes. What does um, that mean? When I ran D. Warner and Clear, it originally had looked like she had been linked to this address that I provided. Um, through further analysis and asking the detective to follow up on it, it was found that her son, Zachary Bach, um, is a real estate agent. And so that's how it linked D. Warner to that address because obviously it's her son and it also provides associates. So we were able to deduce that that's where that address had been provided. Okay, so Clear. <clears throat> Just so I understand, I don't want to put words in your mouth. That's okay. Clear and TLO will also give you results of people associated with D. Warner. Correct. Okay. Yes. And so, do you have to do further checking into those items? Yes. Yep. And that's why I, when I saw that she had been linked to a recent address, I followed up with a Detective Sergeant and had them look into that. Okay. All right. What's the next thing you did? Um, JDW, which is the Judicial Data Warehouse. Um, this is a, essentially just a court housing station that provides court proceedings and it's uh, statewide depending on which agencies up into that as well and that was also negative okay next thing leads online provides access to, to transactions from thousands of reporting businesses these are your pawn shop businesses um, this is also nationwide so I'm able to see if um, the subject that I'm looking for had any kind of transactions with pawn shops and if um, you know she sold or bought something or they sold or bought something I could be able to see okay that through this database what were the results negative okay. in this case next thing NICB okay. law enforcement criminal justice and regulatory agency personnel may obtain online access to ISO claim search the world's largest database a property casualty claims this database includes property casualty claims data on property automobiles, physical damage, theft, et cetera. This is a database that if someone wants to claim an insurance claim, this would be a database that we could check. Okay. And that came back negative. All right. Next is NPLEX. This was not applicable to this case because it's a narcotics database for people who want to buy um, over-the-counter um, medications to create methamphetamine. Um, I did not, I'm not able to run that search because there's no drug nexus in this situation. Perfect. <clears throat> and then last, I mentioned the TLO is another one of those commercialized databases, very similar to Clear, and that was negative. Okay. Do any of the databases that you check um, deal with fingerprints? Um, not to my knowledge. When no. Okay. What about Lean? Well, Lean. Yes. My apologies. I. Stand corrected. Lean would check for fingerprints um, based on the search that you're doing. Okay. If somebody were to be unidentified in a hospital or even deceased, I don't know, 
mm -hmm. and that you were able to get a fingerprint from them, would that pop up as a hit for you in your search? Because Dee Warner was missing, or she's labeled as missing and lean, it, it should, from my understanding, um, indicate that there's been a fingerprint linked to her if her fingerprints were in the database to begin with. Okay. The report number 18 that I've handed you, um, you're the one that created that report? This one here? Yes. Correct, yes. And it's in the same condition as you gave it to me? Correct, Correct. yes. Okay, I'd move to admit people's proposed 18. Yes, Your Honor, it's a report made by law enforcement. And therefore, I would object to it coming in. It was made in anticipation of litigation. Thank you. I have nothing further. Thank you. Ms. Anderson, my name is Mary Chartier, and I have some questions for you today. Okay. I want to start off with where you left off, which is about lean. So lean is something that you can access because you're a law enforcement um, analyst, correct? Correct. That's not accessible to the general public? Correct. And that has information in there. It sounds like you said things about like arrests, um, charges, warrants, that sort of stuff, right? Correct. And then you said also with fingerprints, there, explain to me because I'm not sure how that would work with fingerprints. I, I will be honest, I'm not thoroughly knowledgeable about the fingerprints component. Um, so I'm not going to speak to that. Okay, but you did speak to a little bit on direct, bit. right? So you said that there, if fingerprints were in the system, it would hit. But now you're if it was a match. If there was a match, that would be my understanding. Okay, has that ever happened? Not for me. Not for you. Correct. And how long have you been doing this? Eight to ten years. Eight to ten years. Okay, so you theoretically you think it could happen. I just want to make sure I understand your testimony, but it hasn't happened for you, correct? correct. And correct. you don't really know how that works. Not the technology part behind it. Correct. Okay. Going to the clear portion of your report, um, it says recent linked address of 14140 Church Road in Hudson, and then it has a time frame of 1031 2021 to 421 2024. What's yes. that time range relate to? The, the commercialized database is showing that D was linked to that address starting from that date to that date. So when I searched this database, it was showing that this address had her being linked to it from 1031, 2021. And I believe when I searched it, it was the 421, 24. So it was an active, she was still linked to that address. And then it says link to son Zachary Christopher Bach. Um, does yes. the report, is that what the report tells you or that's what a, a detective sergeant told you? So when I click on that address, because it allows me to click on it and it will open up and show you everyone that's ever been associated to that address based on what CLEAR provides, it did show that Zach, Zachary Christopher Bach was associated to that address. As a realtor or excuse me, a real estate agent for that address? The database did not tell me if he was the, a realtor. Okay, so you don't know I would just want to be clear, mm -hmm. you don't know what his affiliation is with the address. Nope, but after speaking to the detective, I had him clarify how he was linked to that address. Okay, I, how was he linked to that address? Um, I think he owns that property. Okay, Mr. Bach owns that property and Ms. Warner is associated with it because Mr. Bach owns son. that property. Are there other results, because she has other mm -hmm. children, who my understanding is at least one, I believe, owns property. Mm -hmm. So was she associated with those other addresses as well? Not that I had seen. Uh, in this report, it doesn't indicate that. But what about, you said you started in May of 2021 mm -hmm. and you checked it at least annually. Yes. What about in the other reports? It was the same indication. There was no additional and in newer information to share. So is it fair to say that the, at least for this clear portion, the only link that has been shown is this one in relation to her son, Zach Bach? That I was able to identify, yes. And then there have been no other links in prior reports? <laughs> From what I was able to identify, yes. Okay, terrific. And then also you said clear is a private database correct yes. only as good as the information that goes into it right correct and that's probably the same for all of this correct it's only as good as what the database shows 
Sure. Yes. Who comes up with the database descriptions? They talk about things that are cutting edge and everything. Who comes up with that? This was command approved, so someone in my command staff collaborated to create this template. Collaborated with who? Another analyst. And not you? Correct. Why did you start off with uh, Oakland County? Now, this looks like it's, the database might be in alphabetical order, mm -hmm. but why, why check Oakland County? Because it's a criminal, or excuse me, a law enforcement database that I have access to, so we were going to check it. it. You don't, I guess my question is, is there any association between Ms. Warner and Oakland County, or this is just a standard part of what you check? It's a standard part of what I check. It sounds like all of these are standard Correct. for you. Yes. And many of them seem to be law enforcement related. Um, somebody at MDOC, JPay, which is the email system, right? with Michigan Department of Corrections. So if someone wants to email someone in there, correct. If, if someone's not emailing a prisoner, they're not going to pop up on JPay, correct? Um, can you repeat that question? Sure. So JPay is communication with um, folks at the Michigan Department of Corrections, correct? Correct, yes. And so if someone is not communicating with someone at MDOC, they're not going to pop up on JPay. It's not just communication, it also provides um, transactions so it could be anything from financial trans transactions to um, attempts to communicate so sure. it's not going to just show the actual transaction or the communication that happened but attempts as well so I just want to be clear though JPay has its limitations unless Correct. you are either helping someone in prison by providing them money or trying to or trying to communicate they're not popping up on JPay right correct the facial recognition that you spoke about mm -hmm. um, are there flaws in that system I cannot speak to that okay. I don't know or excuse me I can't speak to the technology of that so I can't answer that necessarily. what is it running through to say okay there's a hit on facial recognition so what is being recorded and what's that database look like so facial recognition is going to search booking photos secretary of state driver's license photos um, the FBI also has that compiled database that's also searching, um, it says here 63 million images comprised um, of, as I mentioned, the Secretary of State photos, the booking photos. Okay, so Secretary State of State photos, photos, booking photos, are there, I mean, are there cameras on the street where they're getting people's faces and then they're running it, this is part of the facial recognition database? I can't, like I said, speak to the technology. My understanding is from when I've gotten results back, some agencies do provide social media postings or news postings if they're in an article. Um, but from when I ran the database search for, or excuse me, when I ran the request for facial recognition, it came back negative. Okay, so booking photos, secretary of state photos, some you say have social media, some may have news if someone is interviewed by a reporter, correct? Correct, yes. Uh, April 2021, well, you started running it in May of 2021, correct? I submitted the request then, yes. When you are submitting them, let's say you're doing it annually. So you submit in May of 2021, and then let's say you submit the other one in May of 2022. Is that May of 2022 one covering the same portion of time that you previously submitted, or is it only from your last check my understanding is it's running it uh, across the board there isn't like really like a time frame that you submit or a request for it's just searching in general for those pictures or the facial recognition do you know how many people wouldn't show up in the, and this might be a, a question you can't answer, but how many people wouldn't show up in the database? So someone, for example, doesn't have a driver's license, never been arrested, so they don't have a booking photo, you, like they don't own property. Do you know how many people would not be captured by this sort of analysis? I would not be able to speak to that. Um, my understanding is they would have to have um, some kind of uh, digital footprint if it's social media, facial recognition, or as I mentioned, they could be noted in a news article, um, but I have no, I, I, do, I cannot answer that question. Sure. And then for the border crossing, which you were talking about, Epic. what is that checking for? That would be looking for if someone had a passport and they're trying to go on vacation, let's say out of the country, if they've crossed the border to Canada, because we live in Michigan, that's pretty common. Um, 
And you're not saying that that's foolproof, correct? Because I see on the news people are coming and going, and there's mm -hmm. supposed to be, supposedly a big border crisis. So you're not saying that is a foolproof system, correct? Well, for searching for her identity, I use specifically her name and date of birth and social security, so that was checked thoroughly, but I cannot say whether or not that is foolproof either way. Okay. And the end result here is you run this report at least once a year, right? Mm -hmm. Correct. And then this report gives you no information about where Ms. Warner is, correct? Repeat that question. Sure. So this report doesn't tell you anything about where Ms. Warner is, right? Correct. You're not, so you're not getting up on the stand and purporting to have any personal knowledge of that, correct? I, correct. You just run her information through the databases, prepare a report, and then you got called to testify as a witness. I was tasked with doing this database search, correct? No additional questions. Thank you, ma'am. When you discuss the facial recognition piece, um, do you know if those are also at the airports or other ports of travel? Um, I cannot speak to where the facial recognition cameras are or anything along those lines. Okay. And um, you were asked if you know where Miss Warner is. Is that correct? Correct. Okay. <clears throat> and. Based on your research, do you see any signs that Ms. Warner is anywhere? No, based on oh. my search on Wait, this. But objection, right? She's based on the databases. There's no indication of where uh, Ms. Warner is not you a hit. Have an opportunity to okay, thank, thank you. you. Okay. Go ahead. Um, based on my my search with these databases, I did not find any information that would indicate I know where her location is. Thank you. No, that response is what I was looking for. Thank you, ma'am. Okay.